All right. All right, so I'm doing a test video because this lapel mic on my last video, you'll see on build number seven of this no edit, it was really, really, the audio was really bad. It was corrupted and it was cracking and a lot of artifact. So I'm using just the, the uh, wireless mic without the lapel mic because typically this wireless connection goes in there and then you can weave it around. But just let me know how you guys like this sound. Is it okay? Is the sound okay? Wow, it's not a good visual. But anyway, um, so I'm not gonna waste this video. I just wanna see what this sounds like. If it's as uh, doable, um, I don't know. Let's turn this on by the way. But since we're here, let's go ahead and talk about this tool belt, all right? Um, I don't offer these on the website. I went over this on my build number seven, but you guys are gonna see this now. So when you get there, I already talked about this. But this truck belt, I'm gonna call it a tool belt, not a truck belt. The reason why is because it's not rated to be hanging off a ladder or clipping into a ladder or repelling or any kind of, uh, uh, yeah, no repelling. But this is a tool belt. So you can have your ax right there. You have a D-ring built in that you can hang your gloves and a light. Same thing over here. You can hang whatever you want. This is kind of built into the buckle system there. It's a pretty slick design. This piece here is, is only for preventing these two straps from opening up. So it keeps it nice and tight there. But uh, this is all hardware from Weaver Leather, just where I get everything else. Let me know, basically, the meat potatoes of this video is to let me know Number one, should I offer this as a product? Number one. Number two, should I offer a template uh, pattern for this and a build along video so you guys can make this yourself? And thirdly, should I offer this as a kit so you could kind of make this yourself as a kit? Um, same thing with my suspenders and radio straps, glove straps, chin straps. But uh, still gotta come up with a price. I don't know a good price for this. This is one and a half inches wide one and a half inches wide, like everything else. And this is a universal fit. So one size will fit all for most. Um, I think it, it uh, actually, let's, go, let's measure the size from the biggest to the smallest. Actually, I, I do know what it is. It is, you have eight spots for adjustment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it goes from size 41 inches waist to size 49. So it sounds big, but when you have your gear on, some guys like to run this over their jacket, some like to run it just below their jacket, but it'll accommodate 99% of firefighters. So this is the size I made when I was making these for uh, locally for the guys here, and they never had to measure. This was good enough for everyone. So let me know what you guys think, your thoughts on that, and let me know how the audio is, all right, because I might have to move, move forward, I might have to use, use this right here instead of this really expensive lapel mic that actually lasts me a while, but it got kind of corrupted. Let me show you what happened. You guys don't care about this. You guys can leave now. There's something else I'm gonna add to this video. But this kind of came undone. And that little itty bitty wire, this right there, I'm assuming it's supposed to connect back there, but it just doesn't work. It's expensive too. Um, but if this is suffice, this is a lot easier anyway. And I might just do that. So let me know how this sounds. What do you think about this uh, tool belt? And uh, that's all I got for you. God bless you. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, by the way, those other videos, the uh, no edit build along videos, I'm going to roll them out uh, one every week. Um, there's seven total. So just FYI. Bye.